Okay, so now we're gonna learn the rifle section and the rifle section is similar to the dance section is broken down kind of beginner intermediate at the beginning and then intermediate slash advanced in the center and then more towards the advanced side at the end. So yeah, you can kind of do as much or as little as you want. Obviously, if you're entering into the video, the Everything I Wanted project, then you have to do at least 16 of some section, dance, rifle, saber, or flag. So let's go ahead and get started with the rifle section. Okay, so we're gonna start with that right hand under in the neck, left hand's gonna be over on the nose, and we're gonna be in a first position, turned out, so make sure those toes are pointing to the corners, heels are together and the knees are together, and we're gonna be pleaing at that right flat. So again, make sure we have that kind of diamond shape with our legs, you're not buckling the knees inward as we do the plie. So we're gonna start here, we're gonna hit down on count one, and we're just gonna go releve on two, and we're gonna raise that rifle straight up so it's vertical. So we just go one, up, two. From here, we're gonna chasse to the left, and we're gonna step up the left foot and go chasse together. So now instead of doing that chasse, you're gonna go ahead and do the chasse at the beginning, but then kick that left foot after, so you're gonna replace it. Chasse, replace, and you're gonna land only on that right foot. So try that a couple times, going chasse, replace, make sure that left foot is turned out. So that's four counts. I go one, up, two, chasse, three. And then as I shoot out and replace my foot, I'm gonna shoot the rifle, four. And then notice that my right hand slid a little bit down to like um, that mid two area or in between the bolt and the uh, sliver. So again, I go five, six, seven, eight, down, one, up, two, chasse, three, and shoot. Good. From here on count four, I'm just gonna slice straight down for that count five. My right foot's gonna go to forced arch, and then you can't really see, obviously, because the grass, but you really wanna get that heel up and that knee pressed down on that count five. From here, you're gonna pull back with that right hand, and you're gonna push that left hand down, and you're just gonna do a little pop to here. So again, I go up, grab. After you get that action, you wanna pull a little bit harder, and then you want a double to come out. Up, up, grab. And you'll be grabbing right at that 45, just like this. So again, I went up on four, down five, six seven eight okay so now from this count eight i just go straight up on nine and i'm going to press that rifle down into force arch on ten i'm in grass so you can't really see that heel but you want to pull it up as much as possible and then press that knee down to the floor so again i just caught on eight right hand is under at mid two left hand is over on the butt and you caught at that 45 you go up nine down ten and that left arm just going to go behind the back like this it's not going to be reaching yet but it is behind the back so now from here, you're just gonna pop your rifle flat. So you just go pull and then re-grab. So now you wanna have that left hand behind the back, just like this. And now just try popping it into that hand. Pop and re-grab, just like that. So that left hand's grabbing behind your back. So from here, you're going nine, 10, and then you're pulling straight up on 11, 12. Also notice that when I do that action, I'm not using my wrist, cause then it's gonna make my rifle rotate. I'm using just my elbow to kind of pull up to my shoulder level. So I'm going here, pull so that it stays flat here flat grab as it goes around and that was kind of above flat but that elbow will really help get closer to flat so we're here at that flat behind us we're gonna go ahead and pull this around and we're gonna switch force arches so we're gonna go step step and now we're into a left force arch we're gonna go ahead and pull this down grab and slide that left hand back to mid two all at the same time so when I grab behind the back I'm in the neck then I go switch switch and then I go grab slide to mid two, and then I'm gonna go into a dip on count 15. So again, that was eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Then I'm gonna pull around 13, and then I pull up 14, dip 15, and then I'm gonna release a triple right on that count 16. I'm gonna catch in a second plie. So I'm gonna go 16, one, two. And I just caught in that second plie. Try to make sure your feet aren't like this. When you go into that plie, try to get it like shoulder width apart, like heels in line with your shoulder and then do your plie from there. So it's a strong base going into that catch. So again, I just went from this catch on eight, I go up nine, 10, 11, 12, third, four, fifth, six, and one, two. And I catch right on that count two. So after that count two, you can go ahead and either press or wrap your thumb, it doesn't matter. But for the next thing we're going to do, we are gonna wrap. So if you press your thumb, go ahead and wrap on that next count. And we're just gonna go ahead and push with that left hand. We're gonna bring the right hand up that 90 degree angle and notice that my elbow is staying in line with my shoulder it's not doing this right now so i just go up and kind of press the elbow back up uh, back up against the rifle so you push and go up and then you push the elbow right up against the back of the rifle so now you disconnect that elbow and you go around you let the rifle keep going up you can grab if you want to 
and you want to make sure you're at this 90 degree angle from here you're going to go ahead and just pull the rifle down and it's going to go in between your arm and you so it's not going to go in front it's going to go in between your arm and you and notice that i kind of took most of my fingers off and it's just three fingers now and it's inverting to go around and then back down so my rifle is going to look like this up and down it just makes a little rotation without ever leaving my hands and now if you're having a lot of trouble with this right now even after i explained it you want to go ahead and just put your thumb and your first finger on your rifle so you're making a little ring and now put your um, rifle at that 90 degree angle and now again keep that ring so your three fingers are pointing outward and now take the butt of the rifle again make sure that hand is high and now just rotate it in that ring and that's what your rifle is wanting to feel like so you can kind of do it on your own without actually doing it so you can get used to the motion then those three fingers are truly just for show like i can do it without those three fingers but just go ahead and place them on the rifle and then utilize that action so when i get to the tip and the top my fingers all come off and then back on to the rifle okay so now from this catch on count two i'm just going to pop up in the second position and go three and four we're going to do that little inversion that we just learned that left hand's going to be behind the back as i do that so one catch two up three down four from here on that down you're actually going to dig into a four starch and you want to make sure again that that heel is up knee pressing down so you go three four because you're actually going to go step step and then again step and step so you want to do that actually pretty quickly so you go three four step 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 so now you just did the inversion and you're here you're going to go ahead and flick that wrist and rotate that hand outward i do keep my elbow under as i'm doing this rotation so it can come out and down into a backhand so i'm coming from that inversion up down up and down right into that backhand so try that a couple times make sure when you're feeling the rifle come back down to the waist level that's where you're putting the most weight and the most kind of like pull into your equipment so that it can launch back up but if i hold it like this and i do it softly then it just it won't work out as well because you're not gonna be able to rotate and you have to do that full single so you have to go all the way there so we just went over up and grab and again notice that it is that full rotation if you can't do that full rotation it's totally okay you can just go here and grab right there just make sure you slow it down a little bit so the counts still match so again i go five and six five six seven eight one two three four five six and now notice that i took that step as i did that backhand so now from that count six that's where i do the next step i just go backhand and re-grab and then notice i do have my arm personally bent if you were taught to straighten your arms during backhands that's totally fine go ahead and straighten those arms as you do that next move you don't have to have it bent like i do but if you do do the bent technique then make sure it's bent with that elbow and it's right in like the center of the body so if i'm turned to the front it's center but i'm just turned to the side now so make sure you keep that technique as you're doing the back hand cool so again that's five and six and five six seven eight and one grab two three four five six seven eight cool and now the last little layer of that section is that she's saying cry, cry, cry during that part. So I am actually putting my right hand like at the start, I'm gonna take my sunglasses off, at the start of that tear duct and then I'm just pulling down as I go through those back hands. So I'm putting my sunglasses back on but you'll still be able to see my hand. So I'm going up and down and now I'm going up tear and I'm pulling down as I go into the next thing I'm gonna do. So from this last back hand, I just did all the cry, 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 went all the way down to the neck because you know tears don't just stop at your chin. So keep going all the way down and off, let it kind of blend through. From here, you're gonna go pull and re-grab just like that. So again, you go pull, re-grab, and you're in the neck. Now when I pull, instead of keeping it center body, I'm gonna send it over to that left side so I can lean with it, and then I can come down, let it go under that armpit and tuck, and then onto the shoulder for a parallel. And again, I'm in that basic four stars just right here. So I just went backhand here, backhand here. I go up and I bring this down. And now as I go down, I'm gonna do a right chasse and I am gonna face my whole body that way. So make sure you get those feet turned out as you're going through that chasse, get a plie so you can get nice and high into the jump. So I just went over, I go chasse and in to that four star. So now from here, I'm gonna go ahead and have both hands on it at this position. Right hand is under in the neck, left hand is under, but with the thumb kind of pointing a weird way. So make sure it's not like this, but like any weird way, it's under. So like if you just held your hand here, and you just put it under your rifle, just like that. So from this position, we're gonna go ahead and toss a double parallel. So we're gonna pull 
out, drag. If you already know how to do a parallel, obviously you can skip this little neck section, but if you don't, you wanna make sure that right hand is on the neck, left hand is over here on that mid two. When you pull back your left hand, that's what's controlling speed. And then when you push up that right hand, that's what's controlling the height. So if I just did my toss like this, obviously it doesn't rotate. And then if I just did my toss like this, obviously there's no height. So you have to combine both of those hands, kind of that perfect balance, or not even really perfect balance, just the balance that you need to do whatever rotation and height you're trying to do. So you wanna make sure that that right hand is going directly up, just like that. And then after I push up, or sorry, at the same time that I push, I'm pulling that left hand back so that it's doing this into the air. So again, I'm going pull, grab. So that whole 16, I go third and four, and third, four, fifth, six, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, third, and four. And now from here, I'm just gonna do a left chenet turn. I'm gonna keep the rifle at my shoulder level. I'm gonna turn fifth and six from there, and I end in that second position. Okay, so now from this count 16, we're gonna start heading into the more intermediate slash advanced part of it. Obviously the beginning was towards beginning intermediate. That middle section was more for intermediate with those backhand skills and those singles and stuff like that, and that parallel. And then now we're working more advanced territory, working behind the back and stuff. I just went here, I sliced on one, I pulled two, and as I push up on that end, my left foot's just gonna sweep back into the second position. So I'm going four starts, push, and pushing off that left leg to come this way. So now I go one, two, and, and now from here, I'm gonna let the rifle swing, leading with the bolt. Just get used to this action a couple times. Swing, and swing, let it kind of swing. Start feeling like when it's lifting up off the swing. So I'm swinging down and I'm pulling, but when does it start feeling like it's gonna kind of float back down the opposite way? So swing, and again, and swing behind that body. So now from here, you're gonna go ahead and let it swing, leading with the bolt and you're just gonna go swing, and that left hand's gonna grab at backhand behind. So again, leave with the bolt, swing, grab. And if you're having trouble with that and you tried it just now, you can honestly try just like swinging and either letting it go or try catching with your right hand. I personally think this is harder because you have to turn all the way around. So attempt this version, and then if you can't do that version, then just try like getting used to the swing and just let your rifle fall if need be. From here, I do not grab where I normally do for backhands, which is like in between the bolt as I'm doing like wrist rolls and stuff. I'm actually gonna grab just a little bit higher. So you wanna grab like at the top of the bolt, nearing the neck, because the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pull the rifle and we're gonna do a little baby roll into a dip. And then it's a similar dip as my last one too to keep consistency going into a six at the end. Make sure you're in that second position as you do that six and you can do whatever you please under this six. So I go five, six, seven, eight, up nine, 10, 11, 12. And now from here, I'm gonna let that sink down and that catch third, four, fifth. And then I personally throw in the video because I'm transitioning the saber, but you can make up whatever cute pose you want to do on rifle. If you wanna do something like this, if you wanna pull out and just throw it behind you, you can honestly do whatever you please at the end. If you're going to saber, then you can just catch, put down your equipment, and then you can move on to the saber part if you're doing all of it. So let's do that whole last 16 with counts. We go five and six and five, six, seven, eight. One, up, two, three, and four, and five, six, seven, eight, up, nine, 10, 11, 12. So yeah, let's go ahead and try running it all with counts. We go five and six, first position, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, down, five, up, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, third, four, fifth, six, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, 10, 11, 12, fifth, four, turn, fifth, and six, like one, two, and three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, third, four, fifth, and six. Awesome, so that was the rifle part. If you have any questions about that part at all, go ahead and send me a message on Instagram and we'll get started with the saber part.